Hey guys, welcome to week number six of Tutorial Tuesdays. Thank you so much for joining me again. The song that we're going to be doing this week is Someone New Loved by the fantastic Lewis Capaldi. And um, yeah, so let's just get started. The original key of the song that Lewis performs it in is in C sharp. But um, the tutorial that I'm doing today is slightly easier, so I'm doing it in the key of C just in case you're wondering. There is also a, a D minor chord in the bridge section. I'll show you that a little bit later on. Um, but for now, we're just gonna look at the right hand. So if you joined me last week for my introduction to music theory, you'll remember that we did uh, semi-breves, minims, crotchets, and quavers. Now, if you wanna go and check back on that video, do so from last week, um, but... In the right hand, what we're playing is quavers. So they are each a half of a beat. Okay, so I'm just gonna play the right hand on its own for you to show you what it's gonna sound like. Just to go through this section with you, what I'm playing here is which is E, G, E, G, E, G, E, G. Once you have that, the next bit is B, D, B, D, B, D, B, D. Third bit. You're going to go to C, so that's C, E, C, E, C, E, C, E. So those three little bits together, E, G, E, G, E, G, E, G. B, D, B, D, B, D, B, D, C, E, C, E, C, E, C, E. Then the last little bit is slightly different. So you just change at the end there. So it's A, C, A, C, A. C, G, C. All together, that riff is going to be. riff is based around four chords C G a minor and F so the right hand melody includes the notes from those chords okay um, now in the left hand it's going to be fairly straightforward if you remember from the music theory tutorial last week we talked about semi briefs semi briefs have four beats so in your left hand that's what you're playing the whole time is just semi briefs so with your left hand you are starting with your thumb on middle C because if you remember our first chord was C. So you're going to be going one, two, three, four. Then your next note is going to be G. So that's fourth finger on G. One, two, three, 
four. Got that? Then your next note is going to be A, so you're going to put your middle finger on A. One, two, three, four. And your last note is F. One, two, three, four. So all that together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So once you've got a grasp on the right hand melody and the left hand, which is just the bass notes, we're going to try and marry the two together. So basically, every time you change your hand position in the right hand, that's when your left hand note comes in. So Next bit. And the last bit. So you see you're counting you're in you're counting to four. And two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so you just can you la each each note lasts for four beats. So each little phrase lasts for four beats. And three and four and. So that's what that's what you're playing in your introduction. You're up here. Now for the majority of the song, you're still playing exactly that all the way through the verses, all the way through the chorus, um, except you're moving down an octave. Okay, so you've done the intro up here. Now you're going to play exactly that, but just an octave lower. So an octave is eight. So for example, this is C, this is the lower octave of C, lower again, lower again. Literally just playing exactly what we've just done in the introduction, but an octave lower. So now you're starting on middle E in the right hand, whereas you were up here, now you're down here. And in your left hand, instead of starting with your thumb on middle C, you're moving down one octave to this C. So let's hear what it sounds like down here. The only section of the song that's different, that uses different chords, is the middle eight section. The I tend to close my eyes when it hurts sometimes. So what you're doing in this section is it is based around the chords D minor, A minor, and G. Now you can just play the block chords if you want to. So you can do that, or I'm also going to show you a little melody in the right hand of what you can play as well, similar to the part, the other section. So the first little bit is going to go A, D, A, D, A, D, A, D. One and two and three and four and. The next bit is going to go C, E, C, E, C, E, C, E. Always counting to four. Two and three and four and. The next bit, you're going to be going from B to D. So it's going to go one and two and three and four and. And you do a little A at the end there. So B, D, B, D, B, D, A, D. So again, that's A. And then you do 
do it again. And you just stop there the second time round, you don't do the whole thing. So yeah, that's the only section that's different. And then the left hand, you just play D, A and G. And that's it. <clears throat> that's, that's what you're doing the whole way through the chorus and everything. Now the day bleeds into nightfall and you're not here to get me through it all. It's all the way through. So in this section, here's what we're doing. Starting your D minor. Back to D minor, A minor. I just have one more little section to show you and then we've got the whole song down. Um, so uh, for the chorus after the middle eight, you've, so you've just done the I'll be safe in your sound till I come back around. Sorry, come back around. Day bleeds into nightfall, and you're not here to get me through it all. Um, so that bit moves back up the octave, and you're doing what we call block chords, which is just. Whereas broken broken chords is when we do stuff like that. Block chords is just the, the block chords and you're so you're doing semi briefs in both hands for this bit. So now I'm just going to show you what chords we're using. Go through those chords with you. They're the ones that I mentioned earlier. C, G, A minor and F. So just to briefly go through those chords with you. C is made up of and remember you're up back up at your high C not middle C for this one. So that's your C chord, C, E, G, fingers one, three, and five. Two, three, four. Your next chord is going to be G, which is made up of G, B, and D. One, two, three, four. Your next chord is going to be A minor, which is made up of A, C, and E. One, two, three, four. And your last chord is your chord of F, which is made up of F, A, and C. Left hand with that, you're just playing exactly what you were before. One, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four, F, two, three, four. Then you pull the rug, I was getting kinda used to being someone you love. So that's it, Lewis Capaldi, someone you loved. Uh, thank you so much for joining me once again, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Facebook at Gory School of Pop and Instagram at Karen Alice Music. Uh, have a great week and I will see you guys again next week for another Tutorial Tuesday. Bye.